And Ruth Marcus, uh, one of the criticisms has been that this is so controlled. There's no qu uh, opportunity to question her about the, uh, the disparity between them dialing for dollars in what's going to be a billion dollar plus campaign and talking about a constitutional amendment to limit campaign spending. Uh, at the same time, talking as a populist when she was the senator from New York and clearly was very close to Wall Street and took money from hedge fund managers. But, but Ruth, you wrote that the very rollout, that the, the video was, quote, vapid. Tell me what your criticisms were as a columnist. Well, I think I understand what um, Hillary Clinton is trying to do. And by the way, I'm kind of itching to be out there with you guys. I know it's been frustrating not to be able to get to her. Uh, the campaign wants to, uh, you know, hear from the everyday Americans and all of that stuff. But the video and honestly even the first day or so of campaigning has been not sub the video was substance free and the first couple days of campaigning have been semi close to that. If you look at the video didn't say anything except for everyday Americans are being left behind. Didn't say how it wanted to uh, how she wanted to help fix that. The four issues that she mentioned yesterday were three issues of boilerplate, as far as I'm concerned. An economy for tomorrow, not uh, yesterday, duh. Uh, keep our country safe, duh. Uh, I'm not discounting its importance, just everybody agrees with that. Um, and work for um, families and children. Uh, duh, again. And then the news that she made, as you said, was uh, on money and politics and supporting a constitutional amendment. Well, I don't mean to be cynical, but first of all, wake me when that happens. It's not something that's within a president's control, and it would it be years in the future. And I am having flashbacks to Bill Clinton, who was raking in at the time tons of soft money, saying something I heard the Clinton campaign was saying yesterday, which is we're not going to unilaterally disarm in the interim. So she gets some points supporting a constitutional amendment, certainly some points with the left, but it doesn't um, cost her anything. And I asked Jen.